Hello everyone and welcome again to JAM Academy. In this problem we have a large box um, at the back of a truck and both the box and the truck are accelerating forward. The very first question um, is we need to calculate the acceleration of the truck. How do we do that? That's all the information given to us. What we know is that the coefficient of static friction between the box and the truck is mu s. Now, the box is at rest relative to the truck, so both the box and the truck are accelerating with the same acceleration. So, if we could calculate the acceleration of the truck, sorry, of the box, that will be the acceleration of the truck. So, um, one of the best things I like to see is what do you think will happen if the truck suddenly stops? If the truck suddenly stops, the box will slide forward. The box will slide forward because of its inertia. Now also think about this scenario. When both the truck and the box were initially at rest, not moving, when the truck started moving, in what direction will be the tendency for the box to slide? Think about it. You are sitting in a car and the car starts going forward. You will do what? You will jerk backwards because your inertia is reluctant or resisting the change in motion. Because of that instant, the box had a tendency to slide backwards when the truck started moving forward. And if it didn't, it means that something prevented the box from sliding backwards. And that force is acting forward. We call that static friction. So if we do the free body diagram, we will have the weight of the box acting vertically downwards. There is static friction force, which is acting forward. And there is a normal force which is acting vertically upwards. That being said, um, applying Newton's second law in the y direction, we have Fn minus mg all equal to zero, which means that Fn is equal to mg. Let's call this equation one. If we apply this in the x direction, this is equal to Fs, this will be equal to the mass of the box multiplied by its acceleration. This would mean that remember, remember by definition, by definition, Fs is less than or equal to mu s Fn, which means that the maximum static friction sustaining the box forward is equal to mu s fn which is equal to mu s mg hence if that is the case we can say that mu s mg is equal to ma the m's can cancel which means that the acceleration of the box is just going to be equal to mu s g, which is also the acceleration of the curve, which is also the acceleration of the curve. Now the next question is, if the truck is initially moving with a speed v naught, what is the shortest distance in which the truck can naturally stop? Here's the thing, v initial is equal to v naught, v final is equal to zero, when the brakes are applied, the acceleration is equal to negative mu s g, negative. So we need to apply the kinematics equations of motion. What I can remember is v square final is equal to v initial square plus 2a delta x. And we are looking for that delta x. v final is 0. This will be equal to V initial is V naught squared minus 2 mu SG delta X. This would mean 
there are two mu s j delta x is equal to v naught squared in other words delta x is equal to v naught squared divided by 2 mu s g and that my friends is the shortest distance that the box will be able to travel if the brakes are applied um, thank you so much and have a wonderful day see you next lesson bye bye